Welcome back, our father's business, my father's business. 40 days and 40 nights. This is Noah's Ark, the intro to Noah's Ark. We got 25 days left. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go, let's think about Noah and his ark. What could be our ark today? What, how will we build our ark today? If you haven't started building your art, well, this is the intro to get you started with building your art today. We need to be prepared and we need to be willing to adapt to our environment, wherever we at, whatever situation we in, uh, we need to be willing to adapt to that and still be able to build our art. Okay, today we're going to go ahead and just dive into a couple scriptures. First, we're going to start with Genesis 6, 9. Genesis 6, 9. Let's go ahead and see what that says. Uh, let's see. Genesis 6, 9. And it says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. So that scripture right there, I wanted to point out because Noah was perfect in his generation and he walked with God. So we need to be perfect in our generation and, and, and do what we need to do the best we can to please God and walk with him. We need to walk with him. That's the beginning of our building our ark right there. Let's go ahead and dive into another scripture. Genesis 7, 5. Genesis 7, 5. And it says, And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. So he did everything that God commanded him to do. He listened to God. And he did everything that he commanded him to do. So we need to do that as well when we're talking about building this ark. So we need to get ready for the destruction of this world because it is here. It is time. And how do we do that? Prepping. We need to prep. We need to be ready. We need to be spiritually prepared. So we can hear God when he speaks. We need to be spiritually prepared. We need to have our ears open so we can hear God when he speaks and he tells us to do something. We need to be ready to do it. We need to be getting stronger with consistency in practice. We need to be getting stronger. Whatever it is that we're doing, we need to get stronger at doing it. And there will be another part to this, just probably one more part, and we'll go into a little bit more details. I'll get a lot more personal um, and show y'all my arc and what I have done to build it. But this is the beginning of building your arc, and this is the beginning of how I built it, my arc. I got close to God. I listen. I'm able to hear him when he speaks in the scriptures. I'm in the scriptures daily. I'm doing what he tells me to do. Everything he tells me to do. I, I'm willing to adapt to my environment wherever he, he leads me in the direction that he leads me. I don't care where it's at. I'm still prepared and still have my art ready and it's built and it's, and it's ready. For, for when that, whenever that rain hit, and I, I'm just speaking on what, not literally rain, but compared to Noah, he was ready when that rain hit. No matter in his environment that he was in, the whole world was wicked. The whole world was wicked. And besides him and, you know, his family, and, and sin still crept in to this world because if there were 
eight that was saved out of billions of people on the earth, then how did sin come back, back around? It came back around through Noah and who with his his family that created uh, that repopulated the earth. So Noah, uh, sin was still around. So I, I'm just uh, this is this the intro. I'm not gonna make it too long today. It's gonna be a short one, but I just want everybody to to get ready to start building now. It's time to build now. It's time to be on the, on the ready. And uh, so get in the scriptures, number one. See what God has to say to you. Start shutting things off, cutting things off, your phone, all your electronics. Uh, just go outside, take a walk. Just get, get, get in God's presence. Try to hear what he got to say to you.